Hello everybody and welcome to Chalco Draws. This is the Chalco Draws for Shadow Grape. Uh, if you noticed before, um, Shadow Grape had some issues where my my power went out while I was drawing. Uh, well, no, not while I was drawing her. While I was um, while I was editing this video, but I only got to do the commentary just now. So you know, uh, I noticed some weird things about this video. I think. I'm not sure if anyone else will be able to see it. There are some visual glitches that happen with it, but I'm not sure if that was just because I'm recording with a new system and Bandicam's not used to it yet, or it's actually because Shadow Grape is Shadow Grape and it's haunted as hell. I don't know what's up with these Shadow characters. Like, literally, draw Shadow Peanut, you get, like, you get freaking sick and then hallucinate. You draw a freaking Shadow Grape, the power goes out and your video gets all effed up. What's gonna happen when I draw Shadow Max or Shadow like Parrot? Like, what's gonna happen then? Like, is everyone just gonna straight up die? Like, what's gonna happen? But uh, yeah, this is um pretty fun to draw in my opinion. Like, like oh, again, I had fun drawing this before, but uh, like Shadow characters just in general. But this one I had a lot of fun. With. Like, uh, I think the way like Grape Stance is like my favorite thing about it. Like, it's still very... There's like, it's a weird thing, it's like, it's kind of feminine, but at the same time, it's very, like, it's very, like, curved, as I would like to say. It's like, cause, yeah, Grape is a girl. Spoiler alert. But, like, I don't, that, was, that was my intention, it was just that, like, I guess the way she just curved, it's weird. People noticed it, and I, then I noticed it, and I was just like, oh, that is kind of a thing that is there. But, um... Yeah, pretty chill. Other than the fact that everything's weird with shadow characters. Mm -hmm. But uh, I just, uh, I, uh, if you didn't, if a different video then wasn't posted yet, I just got my new computer and I just finished setting up all my stuff. So all my drawing stuff, like I got Photoshop back onto my computer and stuff like that. So everything's all, um, everything's cleared up again. And I can start drawing again, like, Fully, and that's pretty darn rad. It might be pretty darn rad. So I'll be able to draw more shadow characters. Honestly, we need to figure out what the other enemies are. Like I know there's a bear that I still have to draw, and like so far I'm just drawing shadow characters. I don't mind it. I'm just saying it's like I'm only drawing shadow characters right now. It's kind of weird. But um, what's his fate? What's what's what was I going to mention? But yeah, I can start drawing the comics again, so my, the hiatus is almost... Uh, the hiatus is almost over. And it should return, uh, I'd like to say, um, if this video doesn't come out by then. It should come out on, let's see, the tw when, when is the next Wednesday? Hold on, check. Oh, hold on guys, I gotta check this. It should come out the 27th of May. Because tomorrow is May 23rd, and that's my birthday. But that's also Saturday. So, I can't just post it, and I also just got the computer finished set up just now, so I could draw the comic in one day, but I don't know, I haven't drawn a comic in a while, so, yeah, blech, blech. But yeah, that's exciting. And, uh, I still needed to do the, um, house beds into Imaginate Land explanation thing video. I don't know how I'm gonna do that, though. I think I need visuals for that, so I'm gonna have to do some more... It might be an animation, like, me commentating and then, like, a little bit of animation to show up. Just little visuals to what goes on in that, uh, game. But, uh, yeah. So, speaking of games, uh, Dane Hussey's going along, like, really well. Like, it's being made at a rapid pace, pretty much, in terms of my history of game development. Going pretty rapidly. The original level, like, the, the original first level, uh, that's no longer the first level anymore, like... Like, you know, the building one that's infamous for being impossibly hard in comparison to the other levels, and that none of you were able to beat except for, like, me? I think I was literally, like, one of the few people who beat that. I don't think anyone else I've, uh, talked to has beaten that, except for me. It's beatable. I've done it a couple times, but it's pretty hard. It usually takes me like 30 minutes every time I play it. But the new one, it's much, it's a pretty much, e it's way easier because there's no insta de uh, there's no known insta deaths, and there's, uh, 
you start to worry maybe about that. But uh, everything's much different, because as you might like know, as I mentioned before, Diggy can now attack. But it's it's like a timed-based system. You'll see like when I um, showcase the level when I'm finished with it. But uh, yeah, Diggy can attack now, so that brings a whole different like dynamic to the gameplay of the game. And but the enemies can also attack, so and you in like it's not like a run into the enemy and then all of a sudden you're hurt. It's like if the enemy attacks you, then you get hurt. You can always like just avoid them or dodge their attacks, but I mean, you know, it's gotta be quick enough. And there is a clever, w there's a different way to beat certain enemies. Like, like if uh, you know the red hammers, like the bammer hammers, is what their official name is called. If you run up to them and try to attack them, they'll most likely hit you first. Like, don't I would I wouldn't advise that. But um. <laughs> yeah, that's all I'm gonna say on that because I want people to like see what I mean later. But uh, dude, it's really it's really different. It's very different, but it's still rather difficult if you don't know what you're doing. I know what I'm doing, and still sometimes I slip up. Like if you slip up too much, like you'll pr die pretty much easy pretty easily. And of course, it's still the first level, so you still only have three hits. So use that sparingly. There are a lot more opportunities for health and lives. There's also, there's also lives now, there's not infinite amounts of continues, but that's because there's checkpoints. But, uh, yeah, it's very easy to die still, and, like, you can actually die within the first, like, 20 seconds of being in that level. Like, if you don't know how, like, to fight, if you don't know, if you don't get how to fight a certain enemy, then you're pretty, it's good, like, I feel like the game's gonna be, like, still hard. Because that first level, I've even messed up a lot of times, and I know the level perfectly, because I made the level. But even then, and even now, the level's still pretty, like, ugh, jeez. Because it's much longer, too, like, there's more stuff in it, there's more, like, dynamic to it and stuff like that. You guys are going to be very mad at me uh, when you finally get to play the game, because there's one little thing that um, can happen in the game that will make you guys very mad at me. And I can't even say what, but it's possible to happen in any level. Um, it's, it's it's like it's a thing where it's a, there's a rare chance of like of it coming out. Like basically, there's um, items called like mystery barrels now, and uh, basically you hit it and then you get a certain food. Which I'll discuss more about the food thing uh, in another video, but uh, like there's a random chance of you get random different food. But there's a four percent chance that something else could happen, and it's bad if it happens to you, especially like in the end of the game. I want it so badly to happen to me or someone else in the end of the game, like, and I just want to see their reaction to it because my God, it's it's such a like just dick move. On my part, it was intended to be in the original game, like the very first Ziggy Husky. This was a running joke that happened in the game, but in the like exploder version of Ziggy Husky, it, it was never addressed. Like there is an like there was an Easter egg uh, of it in the end of the game, but it was never it was it didn't do its original function. It was just kind of there and kind of unnoticeable, but. Um, but yeah, the game's coming along pretty well, and there's actually going to be plot to it, so the first level is just a tutorial with plot in it, so it's not that level. I'm not even sure if that's going to... it might be the level after that, it might actually be the second level this time, but it's pretty hard, so, like, and it's pretty, like, pretty much a test, like, test all of your ability to do things, or, like, your knowledge of how to play the game, like, there's a tutorial, then there's probably going to be a level before it, and then that level. Unless I want that level to be the level that teaches you about some of the other stuff that I wasn't taught to you in the tutorial. But, I don't know. Oh, well, I guess that's the end of this video. I ended up talking about Dean Husky the entire time. Gosh darn it, I was supposed to talk about house pets this time, but whatever, whatever. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you like this, you know, the Chalco Draws uh, playlist, on the channel, and I don't care about you like, comment, subscribing, because I don't give a care about all that stuff. But uh, thank you anyways, and see you next time. Bye bye I need to get a new outro. I don't even have an outro. Good. I suck.